I am back to watch episode 3 of Love in the Air. I am excited. I'm just in a... I'm having a low, low mood day today. I think I'm in a post Love by Chance slump. Um, I finished it like four or five days ago and I've still not decided what I want to watch next. So I've just not been watching anything and I'm, I don't know if I'm getting withdrawals or something. I don't know. But thank God this episode comes out today because I needed to watch something and I just... I don't know what to watch. I have options. I just don't... I don't know which one. I don't know. So my energy is a bit low but I'm hoping we get some cute fluffy Paiyu Rain moments that put me in a good mood. That's what we're doing. Let's go into it. Oh, I needed these guys in my life today. Funny, when I finished Love by Chance, I made a joke that I should write down all of the shows that I have on my list and just spin a wheel and watch whatever it, it gives me. <laughs> and I was joking, but at this point, I'm kind of considering it. That's how indecisive I am. I have so many options, but I just, I don't know. Love by Chance was easy because someone told me to watch it and I was like, okay, I'll do that. And now I just have too many choices. I don't remember seeing that sad scene. I thought this was a fluffy show, no? I guess it has to have some drama in it. Hmm. Okay. Operation make Paiyu fall in love with Rain. Let's go. What happened to you? <laughs> he looks as confused as I am. <laughs> Do you do anything else, sir? I don't think I've ever seen you when you're not racing or standing by a bike. Who knows, man? You know him better than I do. He's had five minutes of screen time. In fact, he's had, what, two minutes of screen time? Hmm. Oh, that's so cute. It mirrors the previous episode's title. You trying to schedule in time to flirt with Paiyu? <laughs> Cute. Why do you always look like you're sulking? What's up with you? Oh, he must be safe then, right? I was getting concerned about him for following Rain into the race. But he's here. He's fine. He's chilling. That's good. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna need subtitles for that one, fam. You have very pretty handwriting, though. <laughs> he looks so proud of himself. Very cute. I feel like you need more steps, no? Otherwise you're just gonna annoy him. You can annoy someone by turning up every day. <laughs> I like him, I don't know what it is. I'm glad you're safe, sir. Mm. No. Oh god, I've already got a favourite character and it's someone who's not even getting much screen time. Probably not a coincidence, right? He's probably like avoiding rain or something, making it harder for him.
He has gone four days in a row. He's more determined than I thought he would be. That was crazy. Yeah, you, you kind of are. Everyone, everyone just calls you that, honestly. Oh, this is the dude we met last episode? I did not recognize you, I'm sorry. So, I'm guessing that's Cypher, right? His facial expressions are on point, no? <laughs> Rain is sulking. You're very responsible, Sky. We appreciate responsible bestie. You have to be incredibly talented to keep Rain in check. Yeah, you have his number, don't you? Why don't you call him? <laughs> he is avoiding him. Interesting. I like him a lot. He's had barely any screen time, but I like him so much. My goodness. He told you to think carefully. You're just going to go ask someone? Interesting. Thank you. I literally... Oh no, you're out of luck there. No. I was talking about himself. I was very confused. Yeah, just call him. Four days in a row, he's definitely avoiding rain, right? You've been so polite. No. You are absolutely being trained, though. This is like positive reinforcement, right? Every time he does something good, he gets rewarded. It's kind of troubling how easily it's working. Did he wait there all day? It's dark now. Can we confirm your name, please, sir? He is safer. Okay, that's good. Oh. You kind of look like you can, not gonna lie. Oh, two hours. Okay. Well, that's still a long time, yeah. Yeah, 
you're looking very good again. Why do you look good in everything you wear? You waited for two hours and you're just going home? Is it because of what Cypher said? Hmm. I think, yeah, I think he's jealous. Interesting. Mm, that sounds kind of sweet, but that's questionable logic. I don't like that logic. No, oh, he's kind of happy about this. Okay, well, let's go for it. Yeah, it's questionable logic, like kind of implying that you would keep dating other people because uh, someone's not good enough for you yet, you know? Or you haven't fallen for them yet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I like that logic. But I, I'm the Disney movie kind of romance person, so I don't like the idea of people like dating around anyway, you know? Hmm. <laughs> He's sulking again. You're so easily tricked. How can you be this gullible? <laughs> that guy's like, I'm just trying to do my job, Ben. Good for you. Oh, even Pai, you got a bit shy with that one. That's very sweet. Oh my god, you're so bad at this. You're so bad at this. Hmm. At least he's having a good time, I guess. No. I don't know why you're shy to be getting fed by him. The whole restaurant knows that you're hitting on him. You see what I mean about how this feels like the opposite of what they say they're trying to accomplish? It feels like Paiyu has already, like, fallen for Rain. And it's trying to get Rain to fall for him. And he's the one, like, making the effort and, like, hitting on him and feeding him and stuff like that. Interesting. <laughs> Hmm. Progress? เป้าอ่ะพี่แค่ขำเดียวเราอยู่ใกล้ๆพี่แก้งผมอยู่แล้วนะพี่แค่เป็นห่วงนะฮะแล้วก็อีกอย่างอ่ะพี่อยากให้
ข้าใจไหมเสื้อเด็กน่ารักช้าไปแล้วนะเสื้อเด็กน่ารัก I was gonna say he's called him stupid a lot, right? Are you okay? <laughs> Paiyu, you gotta calm down a little bit with stuff like that. You're gonna break him. Oh, so sweet. No, very sweet. No, next part, next part. Oh, that's not the next part. Oh, there it is. They're on mission make Paiyu fall for rain. I'm on mission make rain fall for Paiyu. <laughs> uh oh. Someone is struggling to keep up with schoolwork and flirting. Oh, the subtitles are all over the place right now. I have no idea what's going on. Um, he's got like two ways to earn money that are actually like pretty reputable and decent. Why is he doing illegal stuff too? I don't get it. Isn't it super risky? Rain fucked up by not doing his assignment on time. I don't think even Paiyu is going to be very happy about that, right? He's being irresponsible. God, look at the way he looks at Rain when Rain's not looking. Very cute. Very cute! Okay. I, I stopped for a second to see if I could do anything about the subtitles, but I can't. So we're just going to wing it and get a general idea. Apparently part 4 is fine. And then um, I'll probably come back and rewatch it when they're fixed, just to double check everything is the way that I thought it is. <laughs> I'm trying to make, predict what's going to happen based on the subtitles, but I don't know who's talking. He's looking for Paiyu again. He forgot that he can just call him. What is going on inside Rain's head right now? You're already having dreams about him, huh? Rain had been waiting for you in the rain. Oh lord. <gasps> is he a good boy? Oh no. Hmm. Sorry, lady, he ain't interested in you anymore. He's got someone else he's going after. Oh. You really should learn to call him now. It's got, it's got to be him, right? He already feels sorry for Rain. Wait, that's the end of the video. So the subtitles I was reading are for the next part. I think someone said the next part is fine though, right? We should have good subtitles. So am I just going to see those subtitles again? That's good, right? Because that's the important stuff coming up I want to know what's going on with. When do you ever not look gorgeous? Ever. This man just puts on a black t-shirt and he's like, yes, I look like a god now. My goodness. Okay, we got good subtitles back. He's like, I told that motherfucker to call me when he's gonna come over. Your rain. From what I could tell from the subtitles that were out of sync though, it wasn't a huge problem, right? The teacher like refused to grade the work because he missed a deadline. It's not like he's getting like thrown out of school or anything. I don't know how problematic it is, but he seems very upset about it. Quite sweet that he came to see Paiyu and he's upset, no? Like, at this point? 
when he still thinks he doesn't like Paiyu at all. Rather than be alone or go home or anything, he came here. <laughs> You're so sad. Oh. I got a thing for the good boy thing. I don't know what it is. Until we meet again just ruined me on the good boy thing. Very sweet. And just as I find it, like, quite sweet and surprising that Rain came here, I find it just as equally sweet and surprising that Paiyu just without question comforts him. You know? No, yeah, very sweet. That's a very good question. Maybe you should think about that a little bit. Oh, don't. That's fine. That is the nicest he's been to you, like sincerely, without teasing as well. I have a feeling it's not gonna last based on what we saw from the subtitles. He's just gonna fuck off again, but... Oh, he's looking at the design. Interesting. He's gone back to being a little bit stern, right? Hmm. He's a very interesting way of comforting people. He's not just like, there, there, it's okay. He actually like uses it logic, right? Going on in that head of yours, mister. Hmm. Cute. Something happened to me. Very sweet. Set my hand it's interesting, right? Cypher, the brother guy, said that Paiyu's had people like this before, right? People like Rain, I guess. I wonder, like, has he been like this with those people? Or is he, or has Paiyu already fallen, like, more than he would with... Uh, anyone else? ไม่รู้ทําไงดีเฮ้ยนี่อะไรวะสภาพพวกเนี้ยสายจะส่งให้กูก่อนวันเลี้ยงสายทาดอ่ะเออถ้ามึงใช้เสร็จแล้วอ
ตรียมล่าเหยื่อตั้งแต่แรกแล้วอาสกิว wait when did he get that before the frat party dinner that was like before they spoke for well it could have been before the casting as well right when did he get that that's very cute though a very cute picture Oh. Oh, no way. Lin, he came to this place better. Hey, Yu, you like it, right? Do you like it? Is he ignoring Lin? Do you want to eat with us? I don't know if you like it, Yu. Lin doesn't know what he's doing, but Lin is doing it all the time. Okay, we've got a lot to unpack with that preview. Jeez. Um, did it say who sent the text? Is there a name? It just says senior. So one of the seniors sent a picture of Rain at the start of the year, like a freshman in my <laughs> class. And then he recognised him when he fixed the car. Interesting. <laughs> That's such a cute picture, no? How cute is that? Oh, very sweet. So, okay. So I'm still like I'm. I'm still got what Cipher said going through my head, right? That um, Rain isn't the first one that Pai Yu's done this with. I don't know how many people he's he's been like this with, and I don't know how far it went. Like, is it a case of like he saw this picture and he was like, this one is different? And he's already falling for rain and what's happening right now like in this episode is already going further or the way cypher made it seem like he made it seem like there have been guys before who have kind of fallen under paiyu's spell a little bit and they've gone out to dinner and they've turned up at the garage and and stuff like that so at the point that rain is still at there were other guys like that in the past you know so Paiyu basically could easily turn around and just ditch him at a certain point like he's done with these other guys in the past. So it's kind of a reason maybe not to trust Paiyu's feelings or at least the way that he's acting because he's probably done this before, right? And we don't know at what point it becomes past what he had with those people and into something deeper. So that's something to be wary of. Is there maybe, especially if, like, as Cypher said, like, he already started the hunt, like, at this point, you know, like, if he already knew he was going to go for rain, it, it could definitely be something he's done before, and he might not think that he's actually fallen that seriously. Something to be wary of. Okay, let's unpack this preview for a second. This is concerning, no? You shouldn't come here anymore, and then he just ignores rain. Then Rain says he still likes the girl, which is like, ugh, come on now. But then... God, I hope you say no. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he's going to talk to Sky about it, so Sky's going to get an idea of what's going on. Maybe he can give a bit of advice, I don't know. But that's a, a little bit concerning, right? I wonder why Paiyu was, like, 180-ing like that. Is it another trick to get Rain to do what he wants? Or do you think he's trying to back off? And if he is trying to back off, it could be, again, to do with like the past people that he's had. Maybe he's like trying to end it like he did with them. Or maybe the job, the illegal stuff, is a threat to Rain. Or maybe he's concerned that Rain is going to miss more deadlines and fuck up his future. There's like, oh, I don't know why he would do that, but there's several different reasons, right? Why he might do. That's a bit concerning, though. I thought Paiyu was like all for it. Hmm. We learned concerning information this episode about Paiyu's past experiences basically doing the same thing as what he's doing with rain 
and he does seem to yo-yo between affectionate and uh, kind of brushing rain off, right? He did it with the, the food, the food date. He kind of had moments where he was really sweet and then moments where he was just kind of teasing and brushing him off. And then you see it like with the this whole scene. He starts off really comforting. Then when he comes out of the bathroom, he kind of gives him a lecture, which is fair. And I think it did kind of comfort Rain to have that kind of logic kind of put in front of him like that about why he, like the way to look at it in a positive way and learn from it um but he was definitely a little bit less affectionate and then you see him kind of hesitate and he's more affectionate and goes and hugs him again and then he's kind of less affectionate again saying i don't want to have to take care of you and then walks off and doesn't say goodbye to him in the morning he's kind of all over the place right I don't know, if I was Rain, I would be very confused too, not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It wasn't quite as fluffy as the first two episodes, right? The first two episodes, I think, you got some really playful teasing scenes. The The first episode was, like, in the bedroom, like this area. And the second episode had the bathroom scene, and wasn't there something else? Oh yeah, the kiss, the the kiss at the the Paiyu's house, um, and overall it was quite funny and a little bit fluffy and and stuff like that. We didn't have too much of that, right? The first couple of parts were mostly focusing on Rain trying to get Paiyu to notice him. Um, He's got a month to make Paiyu fall in love with him, and we've already gone through a week, right? Because the first four days, he didn't even see Paiyu. The fifth day, he called him, and then stayed really late for two hours, and then they went and had the food date. And then the sixth day, so he then had to stay up all night to finish his project, the sixth day. So that's day six, I think, if I've worked that out correctly. This is evening six at most evening seven so he's al already burned through nearly a week of his deadline to make Paiyu fall in love with him i don't know the the food date was sweet and i like it <laughs> that, that was actually i think i love i love sky <laughs> i love him so much i don't know his facial expressions are so on point he has a really expressive face and he's just He's quite a sarcastic character, so I think I really like that. But you can also just see the sarcasm on his face when he's just like so done with rain shit. It's really, really funny. I like him a lot. Um, but yeah, the food date was quite sweet, and the way that Paiyu looks at rain when rain isn't looking is quite sweet as well. I'm glad Sky's okay. I was worried when he disappeared uh, into the the illegal race thing chasing after rain and then you just don't see him for the rest of episode two and this episode he just turns up at school the next day so he's obviously fine which is good i want i want more screen time for sky for sure the fourth guys had like no screen time right i know they're a secondary couple but like episode three right i don't know Oh, that was very sweet and fluffy, actually. The hug when he first gets there. And he's just like, come here. Give me a hug. This this is so sweet. Look at it. <laughs> There's not a single person on this planet who would not accept that hug. Look how accepting. And I hate physical contact. And I'm all like, yes, go for the hug. And it was very sweet and rain actually showed some vulnerability too he was just like straight into his arms and bawling his eyes out it was very sweet i feel like i should be concerned right so when I started watching this, someone said, I'm really surprised you picked this one to watch. And I was like, why? It looks really fluffy, right? And then someone else in the comments has put it like in the same grouping as 
fan type and don't say no because I think it's the same like the same people and it's making me concerned like is it as fluffy as I thought it was gonna be I don't know maybe I'm just a cynic I don't know everyone in the comments is like yeah Paiyu's already fallen for rain and I I guess last episode I was saying the same thing too right that he seemed really keen but I I'm just a bit I'm a bit wary now after learning that Rain's not the first person he's done this with. And we don't we don't have any information on how he was with those other people. I'm just a little bit wary that maybe he's in, he's just I don't know. He's not there yet. I don't know. I I probably shouldn't be too worried, right? Cuz of the way that he looks at Rain when Rain isn't looking. It kind of it gives uh it gives vibes that he's he's catching feelings for real. I was editing um the Love in the Air episode and I was looking at a few things online for it and I came across this and I really wanted to share it because I found it super, super interesting and intriguing. So it's a breakdown of Paiyu and Rain's relationship, uh, from a kink perspective. <laughs> Because I noticed there were some people online that were a little bit uncomfortable and concerned about the bathroom scene in episode 2, which I completely understand. Um, and this kind of breaks down their relationship in a way that I hadn't thought of. Because I, I've just been looking at it as like, Paiyu's messing around with Rain, Rain is having gay panic, and, and I it's been a very like shallow, simple way of looking at their relationship, right? This is looking at it from a BDSM perspective, and I found it so interesting, I had to share it. So the, the subtitles or the notes for it go very quickly, but to walk you through it, I'm, I'm not going to put the sound on. Um, they, they break down the power dynamic of like the major scenes where the dubious consent kind of takes place. So Paiyu is a brat tamer <laughs> type Dom. So he's always in charge during play, but he enjoys being teased and defied by his sub. And then Rain is the brat, obviously. The bratty sub wants to be dominated, but not without putting up a fight first every single time this is his kink. He wants to be made to submit. And at first when I read that, I was really dubious. Rain will say no to everything Paiyu does to him. This is a kink, not a sign of non-consent. There's a difference between no meaning convince me and no meaning no. Um, and Paiyu's reactions to both. So there are times when this person thinks that Rain says no stop and no make me basically is the difference. Um, so they look at the first scene where Rain doesn't know that about his kinks yet or the fact that Paiyu thinks he's hitting on him. Paiyu thinks that Rain wants him. Um, so this is like the start of their dynamic, right? Paiyu asks for permission to touch Rain by asking to dry his hair. Rain gives consent. Paiyu is not talking about hair drying anymore when he says, tell me if I'm too rough. Rain gives him the green light again, still oblivious. But they're starting to, there we go. For Paiyu, the play begins here. Rain didn't see it coming, but to Paiyu, this is part of the play. Like reading this, I was like, I hadn't thought about it in this way. But when you you watch it as you're like looking at the notes, it kind of makes sense, the actions that they're doing, right? So this is where Rain, so that's the first time he says, let go of me. This is where Rain gets into the play without really knowing it. Paiyu gets more riled up because this is exactly what he's into, right? He likes being defied by the sub. Paiyu sees that Rain is submitting to him. I don't know. I didn't think about it in this way, right? It's such a different way of thinking about it. I just thought he was like really confused, which he probably is as well. So this is the point where he gives his first serious no. Paiyu is taken aback by it, but does keep trying. The second serious no, aka being hit with the pillow, the play ends and they both realise the miscommunication that happened. Scenario two, the bathroom scene. This is, ooh, this is the scene a lot of people had issues with. Um, or at least I think some people had issues with it's very dubious consent, right? Um, but this time Rain and Paiyu are on the same page. Rain knows Paiyu wants him 
to show him respect and he's not giving it to him without a fight. I completely agree with that. Rain knows exactly what Paiyu wants and he's not going to give it to him, basically. Paiyu also knows this and he's excited and prepared for the challenge. Baby Rain is still in brat mode since earlier, but now Paiyu has him cornered. Paiyu starts to play, which you can see with his hand, right? Here comes Rain's kink. His following knows all mean make me, so Paiyu tells him to call him P Paiyu and he says, in your dreams. So he's given Rain a command of what to say. Rain says basically no, which to this person they say it means like make me basically, convince me to do it. Everyone cheer for baby's first time in subspace. There is zero resistance coming from Rain, which I think is why I didn't have a problem with it, because I'm I'm a huge, obviously, um, huge fan of the whole communication and consent thing. I didn't find this scene problematic, um, but I think it's because I could see how much Rain was into it. I, I don't know. Paiyu has told him explicitly what he needs to say to end the play, but Rain still needs more convincing. So this gives the idea, really, that Rain is like more in control than he seems right like he knows what he has to say to make this stop but he's not saying it yet this is what i found really interesting paiu checks on rain in between no signs of discomfort equals continue so there are i did notice there were times when he just stops and looks at him and i thought he was just enjoying the look on rain's face but it's like checking that rain is still doing okay basically and being responsible about it Rain submits to Paiyu and gives him what he wants. He says the phrase. Note, note that Paiyu is completely enamoured with Rain here. So he gives him another phrase to say. He's submitting readily this time with no delay, so he says it almost immediately. Which is exactly what Paiyu wants, right? That's the aim of like the play, is to get him to go from brat to completely submissive. Paiyu rewards and praises Rain for submitting to him by saying good job and ends the play, lets him go. Which is what I said, right? He even said like good job and stuff like that. When he's saying when when Rain is saying I didn't mean to get anyone in trouble, Rain is basically saying, or thinking at least, I was just doing what I've been doing this whole time, don't push me away now. So he is just doing the same bratty behaviour, right? So yeah, he's basically just been doing the same bratty behaviour that he's been doing in these other parts. But obviously, because there was a, a higher level of danger, Paiyu actually got angry this time. Rain is basically, don't push me away like this, I need you to forgive me first. See, this is where I'm a little bit like, I don't think Rain is really... I, I mean, they could be meaning like a lot of this is subconscious. So, and yeah, Rain has yet to realise and accept that he likes all of this, so it is kind of subconscious. So, they're basically talking about Paiyu's kink... Uh, and then Rain's kink, but he doesn't really realise that it's his kink yet. I don't know. And I'm not saying that this is true and this is definitely what's going on or what the dynamic is. This is just somebody's perspective on it. But I had to share it because I found it really interesting because it's so different from what I've been picking up on. But at the same time, when I was watching it, I was like, actually, I can kind of see why someone would see it this way. It does make sense, right? It's very interesting to think about that they have this kind of dynamic and i did say i think in this episode three just gone that it's like positive reinforcement for rain like he gets rewarded for good behavior um i, I wasn't talking about it in a bdsm sense for sure but um that this is the same kind of thing right um just like on a much more sensual level than what i was thinking of it um but it's kind of rain is the well the brat makes it sound really awful but you know he's he's defiant um and likes to put up a fight kind of thing and then Paiyu is the one to tame him um and they both kind of enjoy that dynamic so rain puts up a fight and then Paiyu gets him to submit and then when rain does submit he gets rewarded either verbally or whatever so i find it really really interesting to think about and i want to see what this person thinks now that episode three's come out because this was just before episode three came out and in episode three we got a lot more information right and parts of it kind of feed into this like the idea that Paiyu's had other people um wait for him at the garage before and follow him around and stuff like that he's had other people before rain with this kind of behavior that maybe makes sense uh to fit in with this 
but then there's parts that don't like the fact that he got the photo after he met uh after he met rain fixing his tire and then the senior sent Paiyu the photo of rain it kind of makes it seem like Paiyu targeted him before he even knew about the kink thing i don't know i don't know although they do say in this that Paiyu is unaware of Rain's kink at this point as well. So I don't know. It's really interesting to think about. And I had to share it because it's a different perspective from what I've been looking at. I've been looking at it in a lot more shallow sense. Um, a lot kind of fluffier sense, I guess. I've been looking at it from the romance perspective. Oh. They've been looking at it from like the, the BDSM perspective. So it was interesting. I had to share it. Um, I don't... I don't know. Like I said, it's just one person's opinion. I don't know if I fully agree with it. I just found it really intriguing. Um, but yeah, that that's someone's perspective on their dynamic. And that was uh, Love in the Air episode 3. I'm still loving it. I've definitely got a few more concerns than I had previously. So yeah, that's it. I will be back to watch episode 4 next week. Bye!